Watching you, rodent. I am watching you, rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch! Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the... Dolls. Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. <laughs> Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am Groot. I am watching you, Tree. I am Groot. Groot? You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? I am Groot. Is that my toothbrush? I am Groot. Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on, you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My us, figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I stars. will sacrifice. Guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of weird... No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous- No! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! 
Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. Cool. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf-9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. <sighs> Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. I am Groot. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer! We'll figure it out on the way! There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast! All that's left is the merchant part! Good thing I put on my official merchant costume! There is no such thing! Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dis- oh! oh! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get thrown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! 
Gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But what? It's not alone. Get ready. What a monster around here looks like. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. Food. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you 
you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Shall I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. Drax, you ever seen one of those? I suggest smashing this electronic device until No, it... no, no! Keep your grubby paws off of it! I'll take care of it! Flark! That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? Your sport. <laughs> There's further proof in here. What are you firing at, Peter Quill? Did you see a monster? I don't know. Rocket, can you take care of those branches? Drax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. The name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. And if we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That's true. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Come on, it's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. That Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking dogs! How will we Look, cross? Scum, don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch across. held an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? I am Groot. Taller than Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? Still have three. No one's throwing rocks. Dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, 
Monster planet. Right. Shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey! I found more ruins down here! A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk? Great place to leave a skull. Wait. Hear that? Eyes oh. up, people. Incoming! These things are pissed and deadly! Let's be focused! turned around as well. Where the fuck are we? Just look around. Why are we so sure this is the way? All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units as an eight. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are... Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Are you even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Gruta the merchant. Them. Just go. No! You just go. go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does. 
does it. Groot says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, no. Yup, definitely saw the giant cat. Peter! 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 Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocket, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Small marvel crafted. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Let's try this again, Gamora. Piece of cake. This looks good. Let's do this! You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff? You see anything useful up there? 
I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. First a down resistance ship, now a Novacore one. Hey, Quill! Mind giving the old girl a scan? Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Gotta say, I got some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Had a few run-ins with Novacore rocket? More like run fronts. <laughs> These things could turn on a dime. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. Right, this thing has been picked clean for salvage. This planet is no place for carrier. He's got a point. Hard enough to land here, let alone scour the surface for scrap. Oh, what is taking so long? Drax, you still out there? Uh, indeed. <laughs> This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Agreed. Yeah. Thanks, Drax. What purpose does it serve over here? You'll see, you'll see. Just be patient. No giant mo- I wonder if I can get down there. Peter! Try jumping! Here goes nothing. Woo! <laughs> that was fun! Did he perish? Make well. You had- No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! Are you in need of assistance, Peter Quill? It's all right. I'll figure it out. Hey, you think he's stuck? Perhaps. Oh, come on. Hey, Gamora, could you pull me over? What if you wedge your sword in the crack? Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is this good? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Yeah, any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh yeah, we made a deal. You can eat fruit first. <laughs> Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? You can put it down here. Understood. Maybe this hell lady is some old war hero and can get Nova off her axe. I wouldn't bring up the war. What next, Peter Quill? Gamora, can you use the reactor to get up the ship? Not when it's over there. Rocket, do you Is think... Is it about hacking something or stealing something? Or bombing something? No. Then don't ask. Drax, do you think you could help Gamora reach the cables? I do not think the Nova Killer will allow me to throw her up there. Groot. Is there any way you could bring down that wing? Root ain't that strong. He says you want something sharp. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! Mm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> oh, right. Slippery wind bubble treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Looks like there's a way down here. <laughs> okay, here we go! Oh. Slimy. Uh, 
Guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? <clears throat> you think? Some smack reach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Quill. Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, they pull scud like this. They just got you. Just leave the let guns me, alone. Quell, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. DNA cord in the is coming some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. you out of my way or maybe he wants you to sit back and watch so you can learn from a pro guys come on these goons aren't gonna take us out because we're better than them and this is our time our time for what to prove it who's with me I just Wait, are you me, Peter. Bombs! Get out! They're in 
Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Go ahead, Gamora. Me? Wonder no. if we can get anything to pop out of the side of that wreck. Rocket, you could fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make us steps. How am I supposed to even get up there? Groot, can you get that cannon out? <laughs> you trying to rip his limbs off, Quill? Drax, pull that thing. Very well. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible! It will not stay in place! You Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. Uh, I cannot hold it forever! We've gotta find a way to lock it in place. Obviously. Why will you not yield? Because it's attached to a recoily thing. You sure that's the term for it? Yes. Racks. Can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. Succumb to me! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in the rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing! You know what? Block it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rock, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Mora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Okay. That is not a happy monster. Come oh, on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! He'll be fine, just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, troll. Very well. No! Wait, wait! Peter! It's okay, he'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting ass bladder! I am not familiar with these words. I think he's making them up. He's really pissed. You can rot, you At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! 
Cram it, dash face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10! Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Scud Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud? Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got Monster gotta food? Your taste the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Uh, two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Tree say. I'm Groot. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. I'm Groot. That thing heavy? Well, pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. Yep. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. with the monster queen. How much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless monster. You have counted them. That is bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? 
So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid claw monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after him. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Eight? We're gonna fight a monster queen? It would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. And if all don't go well? Then we'll know we should have sold Groot instead. Let's just get this done. Farther. It's a fork in Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the fork and things looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin, as a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Stop worrying so much, you're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. Clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.66 clicks. Thirteen whole years. 
Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I wanna go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together.